Hi, we're going to do a quick video today just on tasks and actions. So a uh, fundamental part of the system is that whatever you're doing, whether actually they're tasks or actions or not, again, we have to give them structure. So we, we use tasks and actions within our system just to capture all of that vital information, the qualitative data around what you're doing as a business. So again, We've already got a project. We know what that is. We're going to use pitch again as we use this one uh, for most of our work. We know the project is pitch one is our race. So we've got the overall project, which is the financial year. The races are broken down into quarters. And then within each race, we've got tasks and actions that we need to do or complete. So we've clicked into the race from the project. And now we can just see the task and actions that are within that particular race so you'll notice there's no dates on when we need to do them we just need to have completed them within that time box period that the race is set up for so in this instance we need to have done all of these within uh, quarter one of the financial year i would expect you to have more this is obviously just a test system but what's key is that we don't just put all of that data in we have to give it again a bit of a structure and a way of finding it a way that you can use it in the future so we give each uh, action or task a type. Uh, and these are discuss, discover, decide, design, and deliver. Up to you kind of how you interpret that, but discuss is generally conversations that you've had, meetings, phone calls, all of that stuff, discovery work uh, about your competitors, about the business, could be internal discoveries, anything that you think is important, information for you as a business. Decide is obviously all of your decisions that you're making as a business. So often we make so many decisions and they end up either in minutes, filed away or in emails, or we verbally just agree to do something and you kind of forget about it. So we're saying get that information out of your heads, out of your notebooks, get it into the system. Design could be around processes that you're looking at, new ways of working, uh, and deliver is kind of the tasks that you're then going to be actually physically be doing. So you can add your own to this. These aren't built into the system. These are kind of from my own methodology and my own framework of the system. But it's a good starting point to get you to think about what information is important to you as a business. Uh, within each one, again, very, very simple. You basically have some information, whether it's started or not, who's doing it. And then you have some information around the details. So description, what is it? And then as you close this down, so you go from not started to in progress to complete, you'd put the outcome there as to what happened within that. So we're not just collecting the fact that we had a conversation or we need a meeting. We're actually saying this is what happened in it. And in some cases, task and actions you can put in at the very start of the race. You'll know there's a series of things you need to do over that time period. Uh, but some of them will be more ad hoc. They'll just come in as and when things happen. And you think, actually, we do need to capture that. And again, why do we do all of this stuff? This is so that we've got a structure to all of our qualitative data that we can use. So again, when we're looking at our numbers, our figures, how we're doing as a business, whether we're growing, whether we're doing enough sales, whether we're getting enough marketing information out, all of that information is going to be really useful to you. So again, we talk about the story behind the numbers. We're telling a story what's happening. Task and actions is a tab. You'll see that you'll then see absolutely everything across every single project, which ones have started, which ones haven't. You can, again, create your own list. You can see the ones that are just allocated to, to you. Uh, not much in this system because pretty much all of them are mine. So you'll see everything's been allocated to me, uh, but you can create your own. You just build your own list views of, of what you want to see. So again, you can see across the entire organization, or you can view them through projects and races and just see the, the individual ones on each of those elements. Uh, and then coming back into reports, we've got a number of reports that might be useful for you, task types full. So here we've got the project name, we've got the race name, the type of uh, task it was, what it was, what the description was, and then you would have the outcome of each of those in there. So again, think about some of the other reports that you might have seen in the other videos. We're now looking at this and going, okay, we're looking at our numbers. Here's how we did. Numbers have increased. We've done ever so well. What did we do in this quarter that might have helped drive some of that? 
So which of these were useful? What decisions did we make? What conversations? Who did we talk to? What discovery did we do that's led to the increase in our numbers? So it's all about helping you improve as an organization and just having this kind of a corporate record of everything you've done uh, that you can use now, but you can also look back on in a year's time. You might turn around in a year's time and go, why did we do this? Everyone who was part of that plan, project, whatever it was, has gone. You've got a new team. They don't know why you've done that. So here's a record that tells you everything you've done. And again, use it to look back, to review how things went, how you've done, but also to look forward and say how we're going to do things differently going forwards. Uh, there's other reports that, that bring in task types. There is a, a task by type, so you can kind of see again, not necessarily in, in all the projects, but in some cases you might go, we were having lots of conversations. We're now not having any, why not? Who's not talking to who? Why aren't we liaising cross department, cross organization? So it just gives you a rough idea of whether you think you're doing enough of the right types of, of elements of work or capturing the right information in your system. And again, you can build lots of other reports. End of race report, uh, there's not enough data in this system to actually demo that one to you, but effectively that says uh, you had 20 tasks to complete in this race. You completed 18 of them. Therefore, you're at, if my maths is right, 96% completion. Therefore, uh, we'll mark that as green and we're happy with that. We're fine with the number that we're doing. It's kind of a bit more useful where you're probably doing projects and you're pre-planning everything that you need to do, more so than when you're just doing ad hoc task connections that you're adding in. But again, it's about being very light touch, very easy, very quick to kind of look at information and make it useful for you as a business. So very brief interview overview of uh, tasks and actions. Very, very simple. Everything is kind of one click into stuff. What's going on? What's happened? And yeah, finish detail basically just gives you a finish complete or a finish not complete. That's what drives the numbers in that report. Uh, but again, it, it's, it's for you to use to think about how you can use it, the level of information, the types of things you want to capture in it, deciding which ones are useful and which ones are not. Because again, this is about you improving as an organization and therefore having that story behind your numbers to keep referring back to. So we've done task and actions. There's a couple of other videos uh, already on our site and we'll look at some of the other elements in future videos. So thank you for watching.